cross joint also known as the cartesian joint is the simplest of all the possible joints to write and understand it's simply a combination of two tables its result is simply each row from first table and each row from second table that is if first table has three observation and second table has two observations then the resulting table would have six observations let's see below this table has three observations james jane and janet and here we have two observations which are height so what will happen if you join these two with a cross join you would have this kind of result so welcome to the channel to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like come comment subscribe and hit the bell icon so let's go ahead and watch it in detail for example you have been given two variables let's understand this cross join in terms of mathematics so you have been given two variables x and y wherein you have to multiply these two variables with two so what the result would come so the result would be 2x plus 2y meaning this 2 first multiplies with y then sorry first multiplies with x and then y and the result becomes 2x and 2y same thing happens with cartesian join or cross join so for example you have this table with three observations and this table with two observations so what will happen first this thing will be joined with all of these three observations so the resulting table would have all of these three observation and all these variables value and in the third variable you would have a height and this same value will be repeated for all of these three observations let's look at this so here you can see all of these three observations and this entire record is copied from here and made available over here now this value comes in from here and gets joined over gets joined with the first table values same thing happens with the second value same as here first two gets multiplied with x and then the result becomes 2x then again two gets multiplied with y and then the result becomes 2y same thing is gonna happen over here so first 62.5 gets joined with all of these three observation and the result comes over here then this 59.0 will be joined with all of these three observations three observations once again and the value will be printed over here so this is how cross join or cartesian join works so let's see our let's see the syntax how the syntax will work syntax will look something like this as usual you need to start with proc sql end with quit start with select and put all the observation which you want to keep from first table and then the selective variable sorry uh, select all the variables from first table and then the selective variable from second table as usual you're gonna write from and then the first table name you can define it as a then you need to provide cross join and then the second table name you can define it as b one thing to notice in all of the joins which we have learned so far everywhere we had to provide on and then the common key common key all right but here that is not required it's not required over here in cross join that is not required so all that you need to write is proc sql and then select a dot star means all the variables from first table or if you want to keep selective variable from first table you can just list down list them down over here and then the say uh, all the variables which you want from second table you can list down them over here please note if you take if you keep multiple variables from second table then the observations will get multiplied so for example if you are taking 
two variables from first table and each variable contains one observation then the result would have and three observation from first table then the result would have again six observation and in the same way it will get multiply as many variables uh, you uh, as many variables you select from this second table let's go to the sas session and try doing this here we have these two tables one is personal info and the second one second table is first one is personal info and the second one is physical info we're going to join these two tables with cross join Let's write this statement proc SQL quit select a dot star comma b dot star or maybe height. Let's see what all are the variables. Since it has one variable, we can also write uh, a star, but I'm just gonna write the variable name from work dot personal info if you want you skip writing work because that's the default library oops it's not all then cross join sorry cross join second table name which is work dot B. Now, as I said, you don't have to provide any common key or on statement. Just run this. Now, here you go. Here, here you have the table which you saw in the lecture. So, this is how the cross or Cartesian join works. It's simply multiplication of the observation from two tables and simply combination of two tables. All right. Now, one thing. I'll, I'll let you know today whatever you do in SQL still now I have been showing you starting from select the statement and the output which comes it comes over here what if you want to store this output in a table and keep that for reference so that you could use that in future so first let's how we can store whatever results comes from here in a table for that you don't have to do much just write create table right create table and give a table name for example here we're gonna give combined and put as that's it the, this much of the things you need to write and whatever uh, SQL statement you write after that the result which becomes whatever output that uh, SQL statement will produce that will get stored into this table. Let's try this. So here, here is the table. Here the table has been created which stores that value. Previously it was showing in the result. Now it's showing in the table. If you want now, if you want, you can just print this table. Data and the data is in work library which is sorry combined and then run so this is how you can store the output of sql proc sql statement in a table now if you want to make it permanent table you just don't have to do much simply put the library over here and let's change the library from here my and let's run this here you have the data and here you have my lib and combined table all right so this is how you can use the cross join in proc sql and you can store the output whatever proc sql statement produced in a table thank you very much for watching the video hope you liked it and you understand the concept if you have any kind of doubt Please do not forget to put that in the comment section. We will definitely get back to you. Thanks once again. Wish you very good luck. Happy learning.